local newspapers down there, there, you know, you've got a character limit, you know, so you got a what? You, you know, like you've got a, you've got a character limit. You can, you can't write this big, um, a huge piece on in the local paper, right? Like, so people were getting information in small little tidbits. And I think what he wanted, what, like, what he had asked me to do sort of was show a timeline of the, the crisis, what had happened and when, and how, like, what's been done from that point. So this is your timeline. Yeah. For a whole year. And uh, it stops April the 9th. 2015 yeah okay and then yeah and then right after that i was the the lead um the lead in the water yeah and it kind of calls out some key players there jeff bit. wright is he a key player in your mind yeah um tell us about very, jeff wright uh jeff wright <laughs> uh he he's the drain commissioner and so there was basically they have the ability to uh, levy and uh, taxes and raise like um, raise water rates and everything like that. Um, now, I believe, you know, he's also one of the, the CEO for the uh, Carignani Water Authority. So he had a big part to play in coming off of the, the Flint or coming off of the Detroit River and, and moving to Flint and and pushing for that pipeline um i think there's a lot of people that are sort of responsible rather directly or indirectly um he had actually owned a water consulting business right before he went on to the the kwa or went on to be drain commissioner so i thought that was rather convenient um now I I've been told that he like when he was awarded the title of drain commissioner, which I believe is an appointed position from the governor, um, he I think closed down his 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 water consulting business. Um, but there's all kinds of um, you know dark money corruption happening um, with his side of things. Um, he was a um, an FBI informant. Um, he's not. He's a rather shady kind of character. So, um, I see in your article. Uh, I, I see in your article right here when the city council uh, voted seven to one to go back onto the Troy pipeline. He said, um, "Flint's water today is safe." by all EPA and MDEQ standards. And the city is working daily to improve the quality. It is incomprehensible <laughs> to me that seven yeah, members of the city council members would want to send, <laughs> spend more than $12 million a year to the system serving the Southeast Michigan, even if Flint ratepayers could afford it. That was coming out of his. That, that was coming out of his mouth. That was coming out of. That's right. Jeff Wright's mouth. That's right. Yeah. I thought. Yeah. I thought that was coming out of the emergency management's mouth. Uh, uh, Ambrose, Jerry Ambrose. I thought he's the one that said this is incomprehensible. I, I, you know what? They were. They. They were all sort of. All of them, at some point or other, had said um, that that the water was fine even even walling went on air on on the morning news and drank a a glass of water and oh i know he went on but he first can he first picked up the phone and he talked to the people at mdeq and people in the city and they said yeah. is the water safe because he's just a mayor he's not the expert he relies on other people to provide him with honest information and he was told yeah no problem it's it's perfectly safe so which he, is because he and i had a phone conversation um and correspondence over email and um so i don't know what he was i'm sure they did tell him but there's no like there's no way that he didn't know i mean the water reports were put out by the city so 
and the violation notices. So nobody can tell me that he didn't look at the violation notices. And um, cause I, at, I had asked him on the phone, you know, how, you know, and he had sort of explained that the reason why people were so delayed in getting that inform information was because they had first gotten the notice in I think in September or something and it took a while. So he, he knew. They so all you, knew. so you called Walling when he was mayor? He called me. He called me. He, he called you. Why did he call you? Um, I had wanted to sort of, because he was taking a lot of heat for what was going on, even though, like you say, he under EM law, he's got no power. He's just a pretty face. And so I had contacted him, uh, contacted him and um, said, you know, I'd like to kind of tell your story. Um, and, and I had asked him, he had granted me an interview because he said I had, I asked some pretty good questions. And so he called my phone and we kind of had a conversation about it. And then, um, you know, and that's when he had said to me, like, like he kind of explained, but I mean, as, as Mary, you still know, you, you see the violation notices going out, you, you see all that stuff. So the, I mean, to me, there's, it, it's not just, it all like shit rolls downhill. So Governor Snyder for sure is the man that you want to blame, but then there's all these other people who kind of knew and didn't do what they should have or could have done more or ignored the issue or whatever, you know? Well, they had vested interest in the KWA. That's right. And they didn't want to jeopardize the KWA system. So they probably didn't want to look too closely in terms of the details. That's right. And therefore they plead ignorance because they kind of knew they had a feeling, but they didn't really want to know, <laughs> which, which that, means, right. which means if you got a feeling that it's bad and you are a person of leadership that's responsible for a group of people, then shouldn't you act on those feelings? Shouldn't you want to know if you've got that feeling that maybe something isn't right here? Uh, yeah, you think, but you know, like, like you said, like you said, they had vested interest in the KWA. They, to back their whole, that, you know, Walling and Jeff Wright, their whole focus was to push through the KWA. They, they didn't want anything to jeopardize the work in the KWA. That's correct. Yeah. That that is what drove this this bus, this bus that went into the polluted tox toxic water system. That's right. Is that right? That that's right. They all yeah, they were backing that one hundred percent.